Okay, welcome to Physical Science Online, and I guess Dark Edition. Uh, I got the lights off so we can see stuff a little bit better today for a little bit of a fun demo day. I figured we, um, people online, you don't get to s even see some of these experiments. Uh, this one, you're probably going to be even jealous that you didn't get to do, uh, but it's still cool to, to see some of this stuff in real life. So first off, I have just a, a circuit. This kind of goes along with our circuit slab, but just a little bit uh, better setup here. Uh, so I have a nine volt battery right there and just kind of, oh, just wanting to make our circuits. So we have some bright light bulbs. Then I have two different types of circuits set off up off to the side here. Um, I have a series circuit to the left of your screen. So remember in a series circuit, uh, things are in a row. And you can see that uh, these three lights are a lot dimmer than that one bright one at first because as you add lights in series, they get dimmer. Also, cool thing I want to show you about this one with them being in series is because everything's in a row, if you remove one component to the series, the whole circuit breaks and then the, the whole appliance shuts down. This can be used as a safety feature uh, to keep um, so that if one part of a one component of something fails, the whole thing shuts down and that can be one of your safety features. Then if we can contrast that to a parallel circuit. So over here I have a parallel circuit. Parallel circuits are where the electricity can choose any of the paths to go through. So I have three lights hooked up in parallel. Hopefully this works correctly. I think I had it working correctly earlier. And not quite perfect. My third light's a little dimmer than the other two, but that's okay. You still get the idea. Um, these ones are a little bit brighter because they're in parallel, so they're closer to that original one light brightness. And if I remove one, then the other two are going to stay working. This one even went up a little bit since I removed a little bit of the resistance. Obviously, I don't have those quite perfect as far as the parallel goes, but the electricity is still able to flow. Uh, and that can also be used in appliances to make sure that when one thing burns out, the others keep working. Um, like in your room, maybe you don't want it that if one of your light bulbs goes out, that all of them go out. You still want to be able to have some light in there and be able to, um, yeah, can't figure out why, what I have wrong on that one. Okay, so there's our parallel circuit and some talks with that. Then the one that you're probably really jealous of that you're going to miss out on is called a vendor walls generator. Um, you can think Tesla coil. Uh, it's not quite the same thing, but uh, you might be more familiar with that. When I turn it on, I don't know how well you're going to be able to hear me. Basically, there's a, a motor in here that turns a, uh, a rubber band, a big rubber band, that then uh, converts all that kinetic energy from the motor into an electrical charge up here on the ball. And you're able to use that. Um, it's really cool to watch if you have long hair and you grab it, like your hair will actually poof out. I don't, so you're not gonna be able to see that. Uh, instead, I'm gonna show you a little bit of arcing that you get to play with electricity and, and a little bit of arc uh, electricity. So let's see what this looks like. So it starts making a little popping noise. That's how you know it's on. That's the electricity actually trying to discharge, find pass through the air, maybe even over even over to my uh, cabinet over here. Uh, let's see if I can s let you see a little bit, Arkeen. Yeah, I could see that one. I was worried about if that would show up on the camera or not. So I'm actually getting a little, about an inch long arc of, of electricity going into me. And that's, that's a, I can actually feel that throughout my whole body. It actually kind of goes out through my toe into the ground. I can feel my whole, my arm, my arm hairs are standing up. Um, it kind of has a weird sensation. It stings a little bit too, uh, but it is cool. It's something you don't get to do very often. Uh, don't forget to sign up for Flex next year and even ask me to do this if you weren't able to experience it this year. It's a really, really odd sensation that you don't get to experience too often in life. And then to safely turn it off, because the video is almost done, you do have to discharge it. There's a little discharge cable, and then I can turn it off, and you can go on your day. So hopefully you enjoyed this as just a little demo day. Uh, that's all I got.